more than $5 million worth of crystal meth found by border officials disguised as watermelon. More than $5 million worth of methamphetamines were seized in California after they were disguised as hundreds of watermelons, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, agency said. The drugs were seized after a 29-year-old man was found with the shipment in his tractor trailer at the Ote Mesa Commercial Facility in San Diego on Friday. The man told CBP officers that he was bringing cases of watermelons across the border from Mexico. However, the officers decided to send the driver, the vehicle, and its cargo for further examination at a secondary inspection area. The shipment was found to contain 1,220 packages wrapped in paper, disguised as watermelons, the agency said. The contents of the packages were tested and identified as methamphetamines, with a total weight of 2,080 kilograms. The agency said they had an estimated street value which exceeds $5 million. CPB officers had intercepted 285 kilograms of the same drug concealed with a shipment of celery just a week before, according to a separate release by the agency. Methamphetamine, often referred to as crystal meth, is a highly addictive drug which is much more common in the US than the UK. CPB officers seized the narcotics and the tractor trailer before turning the driver over to the Homeland Security Investigations Agency. I am incredibly proud of our team for their exceptional work over the past few weeks in uncovering sophisticated and diverse smuggling methods. As drug cartels continue to evolve their smuggling techniques, we will continue finding new and better ways to prevent these dangerous drugs and other contraband from entering the country," said Rosa E. Hernandez, port director for the area port of Ote Mesa. <coughs> Reservoir Dogs and Kill Bill Star Arrested on Domestic Violence Charge Hollywood actor Michael Madsen has been arrested in California on a domestic violence charge. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department said it received a call shortly after midnight on Saturday from a woman saying her husband pushed her and locked her out of the house. Madsen, who starred in Quentin Tarantino films Reservoir Dogs, Kill Bill and The Hateful Eight, was detained in Malibu on the misdemeanor charge. A misdemeanor is a criminal offense in the U.S., typically punishable by less than 12 months in jail. Madsen was released from custody after posting bail of $20,000. A representative for the 66-year-old told U.S. outlet Variety that it was a disagreement between Michael and his wife, which we hope resolves positively for them both. Michael Madsen and Deanna Madsen have been married for 28 years. Madsen's other movie appearances include the Free Willy film series, Thelma and Louise, Donnie Brasco, and the James Bond movie Die Another Day. In 2019, he was jailed for four days and sentenced to five years probation after admitting a drink-driving charge following an incident where he crashed his SUV into a pole. Andrew Tate's home raided amid new claims of trafficking minors. Andrew Tate has been placed under house arrest in Romania. Prosecutors in Romania have requested Tate be detained for 30 more days, while his brother Tristan has been placed under lighter restrictions by the country's authorities. It comes after Tate and Tristan were among six people taken into custody in an investigation into human trafficking and sexual exploitation. The divisive influencer's home was raided this week over new allegations made against him. Romania's anti-organized crime agency DICOT searched for homes on Wednesday in Bucharest and nearby Ilfov County over allegations of human trafficking, the trafficking of minors, sexual intercourse with a minor, influencing statements and money laundering, it said. It's not yet clear which of the individual charges apply to which of the six suspects. Dozens of police officers and forensic personnel were seen scouring Tate's large property on the edge of the capital Bucharest and the former professional kickboxers brothers were seen on video accompanying police out of the house. 
Tate's spokesperson Mattie Petraska said yesterday in response to the raids that although the charges in the search warrant are not yet fully clarified, they include suspicions of human trafficking and money laundering and added that his legal team was present. Ms. Petrescu did not comment on the allegations involving minors. Tate, 37 years old, and Tristan, 36 years old, grew up in Luton and have millions of social media followers. The older brother also appeared in the UK version of Big Brother in 2016. Self-described misogynists, their views shared on social media platforms such as TikTok and X have been widely criticized, particularly as they have a predominantly young, male audience. Man jailed after faking death to avoid paying child support. A man was jailed after faking his own death in a bid to avoid paying child support, prosecutors have said. Jesse K.I.P.F., 39 years old, of Somerset, Kentucky, was sentenced to nine years in prison for computer fraud and aggravated identity theft after he attempted to skip out on his outstanding child support obligations. Carlton Shire, the U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Kentucky, said in a statement that KIPF accessed Hawaii's death registry system in January last year. Using login details from a doctor living in another part of the U.S., the 39-year-old created a case for his own death and completed a worksheet for a death certificate in the Aloha State. As a result, KIPF was registered as a deceased person in several government databases. He also accessed other state registry systems and private networks using credentials stolen from real people and attempted to sell the access on the dark web. After his arrest in November, he admitted he did this in part to avoid paying child support. KIPF then pleaded guilty to both charges in April. In a statement, Mr. Shire said, this scheme was a cynical and destructive effort, based in part on the inexcusable goal of avoiding his child support obligations. This case is a stark reminder of how damaging criminals with computers can be, and how critically important computer and online security is to us all. According to court records, KIPF became divorced in 2008 and was deployed to Iraq for nearly a year between 2007 and 2008. The Eastern District of Kentucky also ordered KIPF to pay more than $195,000 in restitution for damage to computer systems and the remaining total of his child support. From Posh Spice to Fashionista, Victoria Beckham gets behind the scenes Netflix show. Fans of Victoria Beckham are about to get a behind-the-scenes glimpse into her life in a new Netflix documentary exploring her journey from pop star to creative director of her own brand. Victoria's new docuseries was announced at Edinburgh TV Festival and will provide further access to the family and those close to them as well as featuring never-before-seen archive footage. After rising to fame with the Spice Girls in the 1990s, Victoria successfully reinvented herself in the fashion world, launching her own fashion label in 2008. Her eponymous brand, which is sold in shops around the world, sells products including clothes, bags, and eyewear. David Beckham has already had the Netflix treatment in a four-part series about his rise to football stardom which came out late last year. Titled Beckham, that series made headlines after Victoria broke her silence on David's alleged affair in 2003. David has always denied the claims. The couple, who married in 1999, recently celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary by recreating their purple wedding look. They have gone on to become something of a brand, with David branching into business after his sporting and modeling career. Victoria and David have four children together, Brooklyn, 25, Romeo, 21, Cruz, 19, and their daughter Harper, who is 12. Adam Hawkins, director for documentary series at Netflix, praised the authenticity and talents of his new subject. Emmy-nominated Nicola Housen, who worked on Beckham, will act as executive producer on the Victoria edition, alongside BAFTA-nominated producer Julia Nottingham.
Bibi Rexa says airport worker threatened her for being Albanian. Singer Bibi Rexa has said she was threatened and mentally abused by an airport worker for being Albanian. The 34-year-old posted a tearful video on Instagram, with the caption, I've been threatened because I thought the security agent was Albanian. I spoke to him in Albanian asking where to get my ticket and now he is banning me from the flight. It's not known whether the US-born star, whose family has Albanian heritage, was allowed to board the flight from Munich Airport. In Saturday's post to her 12 million followers, she said she thought the incident was a hate crime due to her ethnicity. Rexa claimed the male staff member refused to give his name and continued to mentally abuse me and that female staff didn't intervene. The star, who's worked with the likes of Rita Ora and Louis Tomlinson and had a UK number one with David Guetta with I'm Good, Blue, said she believed the man works for a company that provides services for Lufthansa. The German airline said it was trying to understand the situation and does not tolerate discriminatory behavior of any kind. We reached out to Bibi Rexa and are in direct contact with her to understand the situation. As an international airline, we connect people and countries around the globe. Our guests and employees come from all over the world. Diversity and equal opportunity are core values for our company and our corporate culture. We do not tolerate any discriminatory behavior of any kind, said a spokesperson. Rexa later confirmed she had been contacted by Lufthansa and urged them to fully investigate.